family, we're back here again at the Village Museum on our Tanzania November 2022 Journey of a Lifetime. And family, this is one of our favorite places because it connects you with the historical culture. And we're still here in Dar es Salaam. So you're welcome. I'm Esbon Kashaga, a guide to one this place where I'm welcome. And uh, here is a village museum, it's a branch of National Museum Tanzania. So Tanzania we have seven museums, but this is the branch of National Museum which was established in 1960 and the official rate was opened to the public in 1967 with the 10 traditional houses. But until now we display 22 traditional houses and 21 houses represent more than 120 tribes. And the one traditional house is the collective community. That is Waswahili. So we said Waswahili is not a tribe. Waswahili is the combination of collective community people from coastal area, starting from Lam, Mombasa, Zanzibar, and the Arabs who came in the coastal area here to find a job. So when they came, they rent in Swahili house, which is made of 60 to 12 rooms. And this traditional house is in form of three categories. We have Banda. Banda, the roof is like tengra shape or V-shape. We have Msonge, which looks like a cone shape and a round shape. But also we have Tembe. Tembe is flat the roof and is split by using clay soil mixing with the cow dung, the poop of cow. Then they plaster the wall. Now I'm sure when you pass in this place, it means you walk on Tanzania at the same time to experience different culture of different ethnic group, more than 120 tribes. So you are come to see. Now, here we started the mimosa, uh, or sometimes you call it sleeping grass. When you touch it, they fall. Why they fall? Because they take changes. And it's a global weeding, but also used as an ornament. Now you can touch it to see. And if, according to the traditions and the custom of Africa, if you want to bring someone across a friend, you play according to your belief, after that you touch. So by folding, you bring someone across a friend. And if you want to stop someone is talking bad things for you, you play according to your belief, after that you touch. So by folding, you stop someone who's talking bad things for you. And if you are doing your business and you don't succeed, you take the active leaf without folding, then you put on the shadow. When it's drying, you grinding, then you mix with the oil. You can cover your body, then you go your business to succeed. What's your this name? One. What's your name? Sleeping glass. Oh, we call yeah. it Shim Lady. Yeah. Shim Lady. Shim Lady. Shim Lady. Okay. Shim Lady. Don't there you go. Me. Okay. The same plant, different, uh, okay. different explanation. Okay. And different, right. By other names called the mimosa. 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 That's what they call in Ghana, mimosa. Yeah. Oh, mimosa. And repeat what they call yes. in Jamaica. Shim lady. Shim lady. Shim lady. Shim lady. Shim lady. I'm, I'm telling you, family, it's incredible. Across all, you talking about East Africa, West Africa, and Jamaica. Three different incredible names of the same plant. <laughs> Oh yeah, rites of passage, rites of passage of uh, uh, the, the the progress from going from a child to a man. And you know when he talks about that, also he talks about that um, also the rites of passage of just how it's a it's a whole incredible village um, presentation. And like all of the museums that we have, family, it's uh, a lot of things are being put on the renovations and being upgraded and worked on. But this is definitely one of my favorite because it shows the, the ancient traditional history. Not perfect. And, and we're a little uh, slow, so let me just give people like a minute or two. So I see like a lot of renovations going on. And I noticed that in every museum we've been into, we've been to the Declaration Museum, okay. the Natural Museum, okay. and also the National Museum. Okay. We just came from. Uh, okay. So we have seven museums in Tanzania. So there's only three ones we haven't seen. What are the other three museums? Okay, we have uh, Arusha, there is two. 
Arusha declaration in New Zealand and natural stories. We've yeah. been to those two. Okay, we have also Mwarim Julius Kambaragi Nyerere in New Zealand, Yama Msoma, representing the first president of the Republic in Tanzania. And where is that at? The rate right Mwarim Julius Kambaragi Nyerere in Simara region. Simia to the show, the rate Victoria. Is it Saturday? Uh, uh, the second largest like second in the world, rate Victoria. But we have Songea Museum. Uh, the Majimaji War Museum and the King and Tiri Nguare, who resisted the Germans in 1995 to 1997. But also, there is the uh, Karenga Iringa Museum in, in Iringa, representing the Chief Mkwawa, who resisted the Germans in 1981 uh, to 1898, as the reason that he committed suicide himself, he hanged himself. It's a family, those are other museums that we're going to work to get to sooner or later. Yeah. Continue. So, these are FIPA, FIPA Bantu speaking from Rukwa. Rukwa in southwest island of Tanzania. And the, the retired Prime Minister of Tanzania, Nizengo Kayanja Peter Pinda, is belong to the FIPA from Rukwa. But this FIPA, they have a long history about the iron smelting technology. So this iron smelting technology was started during 17th to 18th century, before Germans revolution industry. Africa, FIPA was among of other societies who made the tools by using the iron hole. They take the iron hole into this finance. In this finance, there is two holes. Oh, One hole, they put charcoal. On top, they put the iron hole. Then here down, there is two pumps. So one pump connected with the fire. The second pump connected with the iron hole. One pump push air and the air right fire. Then the fire make the iron hole to change to be in liquid form. So the iron hole shifted to be in liquid form from 900 to 1,000 centigrade. Then he passed it to another pump where they put a the small pin which is broken there for dry. How to guide they put that stone for molding and the shaping tools like hole, knives, spears and other tools. So this business was concerning many only. Women are not allowed to gather this business because they believe that women comes on menstruation or circle so that they can bring a bad situation to this business. And according to the traditions and the custom of the FIPA, if someone dies, especially a chief, they bury him sitting in the stool and holding a stick on the grave like this. And the young are buried inside of the house. So they left the house, then they make another house. And the women cry for one hour. After one hour, they prepare food and drinks and celebrate. But by that time, if a chief wants to add more wives, he has a special additional dance. So he beat a drum and the virginity girl passes across to him while dancing. Then he can pick the wife he wants. So if he live 40 years, he has 40 wives. Whoa. If he live 60 years, he has 60 wives. <laughs> Starting 13 years old, he compensate two wives in one year to learn the total number of his year. But before he die, he picked one of the wife who he loved more. Then he said, if I die, you bury me with this one. So when he died, they bury him sitting on the stool and holding a stick, and the one who picked by the chief are buried alive on the grave. Then they suffocate there. So the chief was believing that there is a life after death we can bring with them. That is... <laughs> you, you get two every year. <laughs> You pick up. <laughs> How many do you have so far? <laughs> do you have one? In America, this you is, can't have more. This is the one to five years. <laughs> no ball, that no This, this is always interesting to the men when, when we do this uh, presentation. <laughs> and that's why people, that's why they have to explain also because <laughs> the, the men, they mindset be like, oh my God. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's about responsibility and building. It has nothing to do with uh, your sexual pleasure. <laughs> They are suffer from western part of Tanzania. They are. And they suffer traditionally built to different house. This house belongs to mommy. Mommy lives with the, her daughter. But uh, boys, when they reach 11, 13 years old, they no longer stay with the mommy. They just make their own house out of their parents. Then they share food together with the parents. After getting married, they depend themselves. 
And the daddy stay out of mommy. So when mommy want to meet with daddy, she prepare food here, she take to daddy house. And everything complete for the daddy house. So the kids don't understand what is going on with their parents. They don't know who the mama is. Yeah, they, they just stay with the mommy daughters. But they stay they sleep upstairs there. Upstairs? Yeah. There's a lot Yeah. It's a two floor townhouse. It's like a lot. Yeah, the light is on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So yes, this is the village museum setup family. It was the village movie, the Julian village movie, the, the whole time one. They, they showed the, the same the exact thing? Definitely, all of these, you have to watch Nigerian movies, all this, especially the village movies. Yeah, Nigerians, but Nigerians have brought everything to life from, from village to city. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get it to them, you know? But even here, when they want to take like a video, they shoot a village, video the so that they can portray the real life of the native people. They normally come here and like they do all the stuff here. Yeah, I did see one of these in Kenya when I was there a while back. And I always feel like these are good presentations to show people this, the evolution of this. It's like the, we are trying to showcase the real life of Tanzanian native people. As you can see, different culture, different authenticity, how they live, our elders. So it's exactly how what we are supposed to know and learn more about this culture. Well, perfect, perfect. Let me the see. The materials that we are using, as you can see. Uh, mud brick. Yeah, mud. And let, let's see what, what you got right here. Can you say that again? Okay, what's the... Inside this for storage. Oh, storage. Storage. It's a little uh, storage. It's a storage van, period. Africans, come and listen to the wisdom of the elders. Come. You are no longer in Los Angeles, in Atlanta. Let's, let's get him a, give him a little. Negroes, please. <laughs> Jimmy, come have a seat. <laughs> and remember the days when we used to eat fried chicken. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's yeah. a Kilimanjaro beer talking to you. <laughs> yeah, I have two children now. Two children? How many wives? Only one wife. Only one wife. Only one wife. <laughs> and the two children. Uh, one is very young, retro. Okay. And the other is uh, in standard four. So in standard three. So when you get rich, you're going to get more wives? Yes, no, I don't know, I can't have yeah. more wives because it's so expensive. Exactly, yeah, and just like children. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like yeah. these, these little ones right here. Okay. I, they, so, you need a fortune to raise you. Goni, Goni Abantu speaking migrated from Southern Africa under the rid of Zwangendaba. So they ready for Kane war because of shortage land. And they passed in River Zambes 1824 years ago and they settled in Songea, Tanzania 1835 years ago, where they involved in cultivating tobacco, maize, beans, cassava. Ngoni are very famous for smoking and very interested in the music. And then Ngoni practiced the polygam. They married more than one wife. Senior wife live in the front house, that one. And junior wife live in the back of that house, that one. So if junior wife want to go out, 
she need to ask her permission from senior wife. This senior say no, she stay there back. Mm -hmm. And the man stay in this place for resting and for socialization with the friend. But women were not allowed to pass through this way. Here oh, okay. was only men. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the men. <laughs> yeah. No woman is allowed to come in here. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, oh, when okay. we break through tradition. Yeah, I'm sure your wife is not going to agree to it. <laughs> and let me ask you which side do you want to become? Senior wife or junior wife? They talk about the ladies. Oh, <laughs> no, right. This is why they are not married today. <laughs> they don't want to be senior. Senior wife. Oh. Senior wife, she's the boss of the family. She's the one who convinced her husband pay that for the junior wife. And she picked the family where there's no heritance disease. Like gonorrhea, sufferings, and the other disease. But the family which should be hard worker. No selfness or illness. Then she convinced her husband pay dairy. So when the junior wife come, she stay under senior wife. She controlled by the senior wife. And the kids for junior wife stay for the senior wife house. Inside of the house for senior wife, there is toilet. The kids pull inside of the house and the mommy take your ashes and the water, then she clean it. So the responsibility of senior wife is take care of the kids. And the responsibility of junior wife is take care of her husband. Yes. So could we make this work in the modern yeah. world? I uh, doubt that. No? We're too modern. Can I have a senior wife and a junior wife? Uh, a senior wife, she's the one who convinced. Yeah. You both have your own home. How many of you have heard of Brother Polite in Beverly Hills? Yeah, Brother Polite, we're familiar yeah. with the... Uh, Brother Polite got four wives. Each wife has her own house and own business. For real? But they're married to Brother Polite. You that's know, a modern, that's a modern day version, but I've understood that polygamy is yeah. also becoming more popular in the South. Yeah, for the children. Right. That's what you just said. Uh, that one is for Kienga. That's the storage. They used it for, yeah, they used it for storage cereals, but it's only special for guests. Not anybody can remove the food special for other people, only guests. Special guest. Yeah, they block it. Huh? Remove it. They just block it to remove it. <laughs> they, they put it on top there and then they can use it after removing it uh, uh, by blocking. When they block it, they can remove it to use it. Yeah. And the, after vesting clothes, they use that one storage temporarily, but permanent is this one. And the, you see there, it's Bathroom, bathroom right. yeah, special for taking shower. Mm. And the, this side, Giro. Giro. Uh, for mortar and the pistol, special for pounding cereals, make flour. And when they pound it, they have two people. So one is here, one is here. When they pound it, they sing different kind of songs. Uh, pound it. So when they are pounding here, right. they sing. Uh, so they can dig, they can do a big job without the tire. Can you come to sing? Get extra I'm strong man. Yeah, you know how to sing? No problem. Right. Then you sing. Is that, is that you singing? It's supposed to be sound like a Tasmanian devil. And uh, and uh, these are grinding stone. It's special for, during those days, we couldn't have uh, more than a machine than a grinding stone. Mm -hmm. So if people want to make flour for steep porridge or garlic, especially women, they bend here, then they make flour like this. So this work was special for women. Men does not support do this work. If the man do, the community believe that the woman change the mind of man. In Swahili, amempa amimbuata. Yeah, they will be a jamming. <laughs> All right, it is. I wish we had a. Oh, you're bringing it out. Perfect. Because it's dark That's in there. From Inabaka tree. What is that? What kind of tree? Inabaka tree. Ficus tree. Or Ficus toningi. What is they it? They take Inabaka tree, then they put on the water, 
they take a marret, they humming by using the marret, then they make soft uh, bag like this. But also they maybe cloth like the, then they can wear this side and this one. But it was a special for 13 years old up to above. Below 13 years old, they stay naked. No problems. Uh, brother, bring that out one more time. Brother, can you bring that out one more time? Uh, yes, this is, we, have, we have another question. Yes. I missed you. I missed what this is. I was late. So, what is this again? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is a bag. It's made bag? from, yes. It's okay. made from Inabaka tree. People's tree. How do they care? They take it uh, to us actually. They have a special. Sometimes it, people can take somewhere and put here. Yeah. So, what is it for? What? What is it for? What? Uh, uh, it's, it's made what? Is, is it a storage bag? Storage, storage, storage bag, right? And the other things. Uh, kind like of kind like your bag like that? Yeah, like the same, like this one. But now it's modern. <laughs> but the days comes will remain like a story. Yeah. So who's carrying it? Women or men? Ah, uh, so for women. For women. So that's. So before yeah, before, before the Gucci like and uh, the, before the Gucci yeah. bag and things like that, you know, there you go. Is it made out of a bark of a tree? Yeah. Yeah, in a bark of tree. They take yeah. in a bark of tree, yeah. then they put on the water, they take a marret, they humming by using the marret, then they make a bag like this. They put water on it? Yes. So that's how Gucci and Coach got the, 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 you know, the ideas. That is our Gucci style. <laughs> there you go. There you go on, on a positive note. Gucci and Coach. Your Fendi bags. <laughs> Everybody came to Africa and like come up, came up with all these ideas and filthy rich, except for us as a people. Ain't it? Ain't that something, man? Yeah, I took a peek in there. That's what Amos Wilson would say. He said, how many people have, how many jobs have we actually created? Hey, it's real talk, real talk. Like radio, television, whatever. So this trumpet was sounding like a mass media, yeah. And it was special for chief to invite people in the meeting. But it was sounding different according to the event. And everyone can know the event is good or bad when it sounded. <laughs> and there you go. You gotta, you gotta put a little more, you know, more energy into it. Come on. <laughs> so next time you guys, you should at least do something like want to hang out here and sleep inside. And I tell people, if you're doing them camping trips and things like that, you can, you can, you can, you can miss me with them things. Because <laughs> here we don't have like these electricity stuffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I would think that would be a good experience yeah. for like about 30 minutes. All night. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. Right in line with nature. Yeah. Okay, this 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 is the big house right here with the the big man on the top. Yeah, this is the kids sit there, and the ears the toilet for kids. And they poop here, so mommy take the ashes and the hot water, then she clean it to the most smell. But the kids sleep there, and the cook here, and the, and the senior wife sleep there. So she put glass in the mat for sleeping. I've been, to, I've been inside a modern one of these in Ethiopia, in, in Ganda. All right, family, keep it rolling, rolling. I uh, just uh, wait for us, you know, brother. Hello, just with everybody trying to catch up. The family, this is our beautiful village medium presentation village museum presentation to show you the ancient african culture and concepts the journey continues